have a random <laughs> oh my god he, he 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 reminds me of the millennium earl of this <laughs> what the f hello there great person and welcome back to let's watch attack on tie in the last episode i know there are movies but this feels weird <laughs> very weird so don't worry there will be more attack on Toy titan content coming uh, coming after i'm through um, I will probably do some live streams where we discuss some stuff like perhaps I will do a plot hole live stream where you throw all the plot holes you think that are at me and I will try to fill them with uh, fan wanky cannon, uh, head cannon and uh, like we will discuss all the characters, we will uh, discuss perhaps uh, rank the seasons, you know, or also do the character deep dives, thematic deep dives, all the good stuff but now here we are last episode of season four and thanks for being here and uh, for the support as well also thanks to all the patrons that uh, came through the show um we will soon vote on the next one um and uh, yeah evangelion will be dropping a bit more i, I think a uh, vinland saga and uh i will start something new um i might also start Shogun or um, Expense, but I Expense probably down the line, end of the year or later. But yeah, anyway, so um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Um, and uh, we will just start it now, have some fun, hopefully, and enjoy it for one last time. Oh, weird. I, I can say it is my top number one anime currently. Uh, the last episodes, and I will get more into it, felt like they were not fine fine tuned. Um, like the 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 framework was as always brilliant, but there were some things where I felt it wasn't fine tuned story wise or scene wise. But I don't really give a shit. It's awesome. I really love it. I love all the characters, and if I don't love them, I love to hate them. I guess. So here we go. Let's have some fun with the last episode. And yeah, thanks for staying with me for all the, the ramblings. <laughs> but yeah. I ask myself where Let's just get into it. And we start with a seagull. They can... They can, like, steal your sandwiches. Be very aware of those. Like, I live near the coast. Everyone says Eren is strange. No, he was always an hateful asshole. But at least he uh, directed his hateful as whole richery, whatever you say, against Titans before. And they. that's why it was actually good. So... Oh god, Mikasa! Oh, that's an awesome town. Looks a bit like Venice, actually. She seriously has normal clothing now. Yeah, what if it's the real him? I mean, I I absolutely get why what she saw in him. She was her uh, she he was her savior. He saved her from like graping plantations and uh, torture and the most horrid stuff people that are still alive can can get. And yes, this is Venice. Like I just see this bridge. I do think this bridge is in Venice. And there, this is a museum in Venice. And there are lions here. If it's Venice. I know it's probably not Venice, but... Uh, yeah, the mountains also would fit a bit. But in Venice, there is uh, a... Um, the ocean goes here further. Like, whatever. It's not the point I wanted to make. Um, it doesn't mean... The funny thing is what I definitely took from Attack on Titan. Whatever happens, hate is sometimes good. If it is directed against non-human forces, at least. Because I don't really consider the Titans humans. Like, they're humans in hell. 
you know? So the hatred Eren had against the Titan, I think, was completely justified. It was good hatred, which is, you know? So, but, yeah. It's the extreme, as always, extremism that's the bad thing. Take on title for the final season, the final episode. Why are they all looking like normal people? Oh, is this a flashback? Connie almost, almost immediately let them <laughs> get discovered. Yeah. Holy shit, why, why did you rob me of this Sasha that is so developed and mature? Man, I just kind of very cool. Oh, so what Mikasa just said was also flashback? Let's go scout. That's what I said, though. The scouts are just the people that go outside for diplomacy or whatever. Dawn of humanity. Why is there happy music after the shit show we had last week? Everyone, Magath and Theo, die, uh, Theo and uh, Sarah's dying. Why does this feel like a Frieren episode? What the fuck? Oh, goats. Hey, goats. Sasha wants to eat the goats. So Onya Koporo does he does he know they are Eldians? Yes, she does. Okay. I forgot that, but yeah. <laughs> they don't know a car. Apparently this feels like a beach episode. <laughs> Yeah, Hanya wants one. See, car? It's a car titan. Peak is the car titan. Oh, I love their ties. I can't wear ties. I look so boring in them. <laughs> Feet carrots to the car. Oh no, they're really bikers. What? Oh, Eren is with them. Okay, so the, the, the beginning was the present, I think. Yeah, what is Eren seeing here? Oh, yeah, I forgot he's fucking bonkers already. Look how fucking dead he already looks. Look at this. He already looks like... So either he's like... Whatever, whatever this is, he already knows here, I think, that, um, that I do think that, that he, the derumbling will happen. So even if he, does he know that? I, I forgot. But it, like, if he already knows the derumbling will happen, like, this is obviously a reaction, like, everything, he will be dead. And I do think he knows that he will do it, but nonetheless, he's like, okay, all these alive people. At least it's like, because he's not inhuman, really, he's just hateful against Male, but, you know, he's still, like he said to Falco in the cellar with Rainer, you're a good kid, there are good and bad people on both sides. Also, it's so sad that he's not so happy. Oh, it's Mikasa thinking here. Ooh, ice cream. <laughs> of course, Sasha takes ice cream. <laughs> She's just trying every food. <laughs> I love that God is also here. Yeah. Oh, man. But she's more mature. Like, her comic relief is also not that exaggerated. It's like how really people would act. <laughs> yeah, Livy, Livy has to babysit again. That is a question, though, in the world building that is not answered for me yet. How do the Malians check for Eldians? I know they have got blood tests. We know that. But how? What are the logistics? Oh my god, who the fuck is that? That sounds creepy. Oh my god, what the fuck is Levy thinking? <laughs> Why is that 
have a random <laughs> oh my god he, he 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 reminds me of the millennium earl of this <laughs> what the fuck i love creepy clowns i really love creepy clowns like i'm not in any way afraid of clowns but i find them cool Mikasa likes ice cream as well. That's good to know. And Eren is just not enjoying anything. Ooh, yeah. So it's even like, I just realized it's even worse than I ever thought. I just, first I thought it was past memories. Then I thought it was future memories. But no, it's every memory through time that's hateful. Basically. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I realized in season three that he was fucking nuts. Hey, like you should have seen that when he said literally, hey, those over there, will we have peace if we kill all of them? That's literally what he said in season three. No one listened to him, I think. <laughs> I got, got him. Oh, we've got racism again. Brilliant. No, oh, the poor kid. I mean, he did steal. The problem is, um, I was my purse was almost stolen once in Paris in the in the metro. Um, so someone bumped into me, and because my uh, the, the pockets of my jacket were shit, it got tangled. The the uh, the the purse, my my, pur my wallet, what got tangled. So they like didn't manage. But holy fuck, that was so scary. I do not like stealing, like, send, again, send your, sending kids to go stealing or teaching them to do that. I mean, perhaps the kid has to survive because his home country got fucked, which is implied here, because I do think he's from the people we saw um, Zasha, uh, um, uh, Gabi and Falco and Magath and all of them fight in episode one. So it's not easy, like, obviously the child has no other choice, but it's still so sad. But they're going to save him. No, Zasha will save him. It's not about you. Oh, that's so dark. Oh, that's so dark. It's, it's, it is. Uh, this sounds very familiar. <laughs> sounds very familiar. Hey, someone got done to a person. And the person's like, yeah, it's okay. I don't care. No, we care in your behalf. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I mean, but the re the reasonable thing thing you could say is, I mean, he would repeat it. You know, that's why they care. That's why they care. Oh wow, that's dark. See, they do blood tests, but when and how? Holy shit, look at that. Like, they are, but the this, the racism against them is, like, flaring up in this beautiful, like, they had the ice cream, they had the fucking creepy asshole clown, I don't know what the fuck that was about. And, uh, like, they had the, the photographs, the cars, everything was jolly. And then the aliens. Normally, we fucking hate your guts here. Awesome, dude, done. Levi's gonna just say he's gonna do it. Oh, awesome, yeah. <laughs> they tried to play it off. I like that. Also, Levi is the one who does the good deed again. Man, Levi is such an honorable guy. And also, he does it to save uh, face. What are they doing? They're just running, okay. And Anya Kapoor, Anya Kapoor is running with them. And no one is pursuing them because they're unsure, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Probably pissed off and took your wallet. Yep, he did. <laughs> I knew that. What's up, this? What is Eren doing? Eren looks fucking mental as well, again. Oh. Yeah. Yes, it was. And before that, it was 
the reverse as well. So it changed slowly, I guess. So during King Fritz asshole fucks time, uh, Alien was Alien bloodline was the king's bloodline, the highest thing there was, and no one was better than that in their view. And then it changed in the world because I guess they were afraid of the Titans as well and changed and they were nobles. And then it changed and they became the star people. Like inverted, the situation got inverted. Yeah, I mean, I get that because we we don't know if King Fritz as fuck uh, did uh, attack other countries as well, but I do think he did. Yeah, you did, but Ehren didn't. Oh, so there's a group that wants to do that? Okay, who are they, though? I love that Hanya went in with diplomacy. It's exactly what I thought would happen with her. I love the Japanese influences here as well in the drawings. Yeah, it will be fucking dangerous. Yeah. And that is exactly the thing I said about 419 again. Exactly those words, basically. I, you know, I really vibe with Tanya. I think she's the character most like me, actually. Interestingly. What's she doing? Yeah, Eren pissed off because he's a fucking psycho. What is he looking at? Oh, he's crying. Why is he crying? The moon. Why? Why are you crying at the moon and the aureola around the moon? Because he finally is free and he can't savor it, perhaps? So they have their starry sky scene. Oh, he has seen something. Ooh, so he at least cried. He did just see the future, I think, and cried. Or am I tripping? I, I really am sorry that I forgot when he learned the future stuff, but I did think it was always. Yeah, I don't think he cries about himself, though. But that wasn't the day. Mali wasn't the wasn't what stole your freedoms. Your freedoms were stolen by your king. And by King Fritz in the beginning. Mali's just made sure that it stayed that way. That is a very, very, very good question. Please now answer it. Both. As far as I understood it. And because she loves him. I mean, she was about to say it in season two. Like, say it now. You know what I what would be interesting? And I'm again sad that we have deterministic stuff, which is something that I this is why I don't like it, because there was never a chance that she, she said anything different here. But if it wasn't the case, if we hadn't if we didn't have this deterministic stuff, basically we could always have wondered what would have been what would have been if she had decided to say I love you here? Would have changed Ehren. But we, because we have the deterministic stuff, again, A, she always has to say this, and uh, B, Ehren knows where it leads and it wouldn't have changed it. If we didn't have the deterministic stuff, her saying I love you here could have changed him. But with the deterministic stuff, it never could have, even if she would have said it here. And that's why I don't like deterministic stuff in story writing like this, by the way. But it's a very nice scene. Very cool. Oh, he, go he gets tea. Ah, uh, is that... Uh, do, do they have Turkish vibes? I do think they have. A friend of mine is from Turkey, and I recently talked to him about uh, Turkish cuisine, and he uh, invites uh, invites me to go uh, to a Turkish restaurant, like a real one, uh, perhaps this year even. Um, and, and we talked about this tea, like this tea is... There's apparently this tea ceremony that like you, you you get as much tea as you want because it's like 
don't really know why anymore, but I do think because it's valuable or because it's like to being together and, and relaxing and stuff. So that's like, yeah, it's a very nice gesture. Yeah, Aaron, why, what are you doing? No, he's, it's fine. You can see the future. Everything he does is predetermined. He can do whatever he, like, <laughs> nothing's going to happen to him. <laughs> also funny, you know what is funny in this situation? They are caring for him that he might be in danger or something, but because this is a flashback, we already know nothing will happen to him. Also, a bit like we are a bit like Eren in the scene. That's awesome. Also, if I am incorrect with him already knowing about the future stuff here, like just disregard all those comments, of course. And they're just drinking stuff here. Okay. I do think that was where John's flashback was too from last episode. Though that was like that was one of the things last episode as well. That flashback should have been there before once or twice, you know? Should have been teased more. This feels like, oh, he Isayama was like, yeah, I want to do this flashback still, but I, I haven't teased it enough. So let's put have John remember it like one episode earlier. You know what I mean? I really love this. I love that they're together one last time, I guess, in, in happiness. Because Eren's gonna piss off soon. <laughs> Why is the kid flying around? That's so wholesome. What What is Armin doing? <laughs> oh, everyone's coming. That's so nice. Just celebrate even though they don't have anything. I have... I have seen that several times. That if people don't have a lot, they're so kind because everything is like a miracle to them. Like, I feel like either people are like that here or they are really, really, really fucking angry. And, um, but it's so wholesome. Just, just relaxing about the little things. So cool. I'm at Mikasa moment that Eren is even a bit, a bit glad. And he's so sad that he has to trample all these people and kill them. Because it's inevitable. You can't decide against it. And they just fight them all past out. Oh my god, Sasha's just fucking vomiting all over the place. Oh, that was sweet, them lying together. Oh god, it's gonna go sideways. Oh. Ooh, I like that part. Like, it's, it, it is detestable in itself to be like, yeah, they were like... No, it's not even just, why am I even saying I'm so such an asshole? It's not detestable in, in any way. It's like, hey, you're, you're like, if I understand correctly, it's completely non-detestable, like the opposite, because it's like, hey, your parents were on a grape plantation. I mean, you can't do anything for that, and one of your parents can't do anything for it. Like, why... I dish out on them. But the thing is, they fear the blood, not the people, so... Okay, honey, I don't think you will do anything right here. Holy shit, man, that must be so devastating to them. Oh, his voice looks so sad. Man, everyone... Oh, Eren is... Eren has had enough. Is that where Eren parts? Yeah, I knew that. It was the last good time he had ever with he ever had with his friends, I guess. Holy fuck, man. I also do think he knew on that hill that he would turn. So he spent his last moments of being human with them. And now he goes and yeah. Wow, that must be so random for them as well. Wait, wait. Okay, okay, anyway, we'll probably get more flashbacks. Please someone put this in the comments, I want to discuss that, that's an interesting... I do think we should do a live stream as well, discussion about what could they have done differently that might have changed it, because I do think if I'm done and like taken a month to think it through, we might have some cool ideas there. Um, but, yeah. Also this, that she remembers this as him being that, um, 
but there's still a gap here like what what happened between him leaving and don't worry me because it was predetermined you couldn't have done it don't worry like it's not your fault what could you have done it was predetermined I'm I'm sorry, I'm just a bit salty about predeterminism and stories. Even though it's so brilliantly done here, I love it. It's it's good discussion of the themes it is it has. Because it doesn't really matter. Because it already happened. I guess. Because the thing is, even if it was predetermined, it always was if you look in the past. Everything in the past was the way it was. Like you know what I mean? Like everything that happened was the way it was. So you could say it was predetermined anyway. And everything is predetermined. Like, there's super determinism, and I do think that's a reasonable thing to say. So it's basically telling us that quantum physics in itself is deterministic, uh, just not in our dimension. So, you know, there's a, there are good cases made for super determinism. You know, and I do think there, it, that exists. So everything seems to be in a way deterministic, but not in our dimension. You have to take another one. And we can't reach that, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, let's not go into that. But um, the um, the thing is, so Aaron then left and sent them the letter, hey, I'm working with the Zeke now. I, I guess they wanted to meet him anyway. Because they were like, this is Zeke's plan. And then Aaron met, was like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. The world. Beyond the walls, there is a sea. Oh, I love it. Is it with the... with the? Um, no, it's not. It's not. That's so sad. I, I love the, the, the dialogue Armin has when he uh, recalls the book with the, like, the, the waste of ice or something. Beyond the walls, there is a sea. On the other side of the vast blue sea is a continent. That continent has cities, bustling markets, and all sorts of people living there. Just like on the island. But in the outside world, subjects of Emir are despised more than anything. Because they can literally potentially turn into monsters, though. Like... I get the, like, you should be careful, you shouldn't hate them. When did it all begin? Yeah. Oh, the pigs! The pigs! The pigs that started all of it because Emu didn't care for the fucking pigs. Yeah, whatever. Okay. It's also like, like, I, I, like, it's so dumb. I, I realized that during editing, I laughed my ass off. Like, everything here happens because Emu was too dumb to, like, Log in the pigs or something, or they broke free. Oh, we have we have uh, Iran time, I guess. Okay, so you say everything happened by your will. Oh, Yelena talked to him here. Yeah, interesting. But we knew that they talked, just not what they talked about. Oh, Floch was there as well? Okay. But you heard it. What? Oh! I know it's predetermined, so it's not that weighty as it would have been if it wasn't predetermined, but holy shit, him te really telling Floch. He really did. This was, this was nothing Floch just made up. He really told Floch his plan. Because he had to, because it was determined. But, yeah. Oh, Historia is back. Like... I have to say it here, they fucking wasted her character in season 4, like she did nothing. I hope she does something in the end. Oh, really? Why not? Because she's pregnant. Oh, wow, she would do it. Wait, are they now gonna bone and it's Eren's child? That would be so fucking fucked. No, I do think she's pregnant here. Wow, holy shit. Yeah. 
And that's what Floch wanted. That is what he wanted from the moment I think he survived. But it was probably just a dream in the back of his head. Well, he told a story and she didn't say anything. Are you fucking serious, Historia? But then again, she said, I'm the, I will, I hate humanity. But she did it not completely with conviction, I guess. That is true as well. What is he going to say here? And is it just predeterminism because he knows what he's going to say or has to say? Or is it really him? Like. Yes. So let me get this straight. Is it really his plan to be like, yeah, Tabula Rasa, fuck you all? Because he basically, like, plunged Eldia into darkness. But what something I have to say, though, is, and I didn't think about that until now, actually, and sorry that I didn't. But at least the Elden infighting is on equal terms in that they all could be titans. Like the problem of one is genetically su superior or inferior, whatever you like, you can't make that argument anymore, really. I like that. Like that's what makes it a bit of a better chance. That's, you know, if I would steal man his shit, which is still shit, but. Yeah. That's true. You're such a fucking asshole. What? I I actually will for the first time rewatch this because what the fuck did he just say? When she said that she wanted to save someone who thought had no purpose in life and wanted to give him back purpose because in her mind having a purpose was and in purpose I don't mean just a purpose but knowing that it is good that you're born which was basically what his mother also said that was basically her thing so why would that mean and that's why she said the worst girl in the world that's why she said it because she's like i don't care for humanity i care for doing the right thing to you to make to, to accept you the way you are and he is doing the fucking rumbling which is exactly not accepting the marlins as they are by the way but that's not the point but why would he he be like yeah you will just sit by until i erase your memory like Someone has to explain that, please. Like, I didn't get why, what. So, so he might have lied to Mikasa here, okay. Yeah, I guess we know that. Okay, so he, he lied to her there. So I guess he 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 did antagonize them so they wouldn't feel too bad about what they're about to do, I guess. Um Does that make sense? Let me actually think about that. Um But they still trusted him. And it was predetermined, so he had to say it, I guess. So he enslaved himself to predeterminism to lie to her. So he wants to know the truth about her, even though he knows he's like gonna lose her part, I think. What, what happens there? Who's eating people? Oh, he's fighting in the war. Oh, he, I mean, we know that he cut off his, his leg. Will they, though? Not if they die. Because of the aftermath of the fuck show you created. Like... But only them. And that's the problem I have with this. Like, don't get me wrong, that's perfectly fine, but 
to think in, in a tunnel, I don't know if it's an English thing, to think in a tunnel because of it is so stupid. Like, yes, that should be like, I agree that it should be, it should be his priority. But he's taking the easy way, if he even takes it and is not determined, which I just don't know anymore. But I do think because I said it to myself now so often that I just don't know anymore. It's probably pretty clear to all of you, I'm sorry. Um, but so what I think he is right about is, yes, that should be his priority because it's understandable. It's, it's the people he, that love him and they trust him so much that even if he, when he does fucked up shit that wasn't agreed on, if he, uh, if he makes them acquaintances in genocide, which he did, which is fucked, like you don't do that to your loved ones. Like he made them accomplices, basically, in genocide. Um, and... What, how could they be happy when they are accomplices in genocide? Like, what the fuck, mate? That's so short-sighted. I guess the self-value problems he had with uh, in season three have not gone away because that's uh, like, oh, they will be happy without me, you know? No, they won't. Their government is fucked. Their society is fucked. Half their friends are dead and gone. Half their comrades were slaughtered by themselves. They have trauma. How can they live happy after what you made them do? You fucking dim-witted shit face. Oh, there they are. No, it's the, it's the warships. And you saw that would happen. Oh. He looks like the captain of the Titanic, Smith. I don't know what his first name is. Why would you not attack them from the air with airships but send the fleet? Load all your cannons onto airships. They're big, but not that big. They can just like, go from the bottom. I do think they're already below them. Ooh, this rumbling. What are they even fighting at? Uh, firing at? Uta! I said it for him. I'm sorry. I love when people shout Uta. One of my favorite anime words. Uta! At least the artillery is uh, lying in artillery flight paths. They really swim. That looks so dumb. I love it. Oh, they get them. Interesting. I mean, of course they swim. The, the ocean is like really, really deep, but I didn't think they would swim. But they're very light as well. Shouldn't they be? Shouldn't they float at the surface, actually? Don't know. Are they going to regenerate or are there just more coming? Yeah, and more are coming. More are coming. Why did they stop firing? I would just keep firing. Yeah, exactly like that. Also, is the cloud of steam killing them here? Oh, God, yes, it is. Oh, God, yes, it was. I didn't think it would like, okay, that's a huge pressure wave. Goodbye, Alliance. You're almost as effective of, uh, as Armin. Oh, my God, the people in the harbor must see that those ships and be like, oh, we're dead. Should have taken the airships. Oh, all those people are like knowing they're gonna die. Like the scouts did. Like the scouts did in that charge with the rocks. These people are also standing there at their weapons, firing at like rocks coming at them and squashing them, not having any fucking hope, and they still do it. Holy fuck! Again, showing that Mali is like like Eldia, just like they're like they're they're like offset in time a bit. What they are, you know, if that makes sense, if you know what I mean. But the same characteristics. Why is there this music playing? I like the music. It doesn't fit completely. Or is it? I do think it's the. Is that the song that uh, plays when Eren's mom gets eaten? No, I don't think so. That should have played. You see, big girls should have played. I know, I know it shouldn't have. It's a cool song. It's a bit too heroic, though. 
I do think it's a Titan song though, so it kind of fits. Keep firing, what are you doing? Okay, now they run. Okay, I mean, they are not like as brave as the scouts, I guess. That's actually not that big a foot. Like, they have to, like, can't you just go around them? Or like, if you have ODM gear, just like, like, put everyone into ODM gear and fly over them. I know they don't probably have that. I'm just thinking of solutions. Why are they bigger now? Oh, Eren is pretty big. Oh, Eren's really weird. <laughs> yeah, now he really looks like fucking the devil. <laughs> the attack titan finally attacks. But it's the founding titan, not the attack titan. Uh... Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. I fucking hate you, but that is awesome. Okay, you I probably can't go around that. But back then he said that about the Titans, not about the people. Again, like, I really fucking hate Heeren. I really fucking hate him because he's so dumb. The short sighted and dumb, but it's so brilliantly written and I love him. I love Eren because it's I understand it so well what he's doing, but it's so short-sighted and I love it. I love it. <laughs> I was for a while unsure actually before this episode how I really thought about him. But I do think the building up of this moment was really, really well done throughout the show. Like it's completely in character. Because it's it's the same hot-headed idiot fuckface that killed his squad in episode 5. The same thing is happening right now, but he's killing the world. Like, this, this hot-headedness charging into battle and this hatred that he just puts on things he doesn't like, that he thinks do rightfully so threaten his friends, um, even though he also does that with psychologically torture him, the, uh, torturing them beyond repair and killing all his scout colleagues and all of that like through these actions um but let's let's not go there again but this this right the hot-headedness and the hatred both of them together are here i love it it's so in character like i've i've raged about him but i've never i hope it is clear that i never really raged about him because he was badly written or anything in that regard i just think he's a despicable fuck face but an understandable despicable fuck face um i have a lot more sympathy for him though than for for example Floch, even though i do have some sympathy for Floch as well but, like i still have sympathy for him because he has done good stuff again the question he's done very good stuff um he wanted to free people and i do think the best thing he did was historia the little dialogue they had in the kitchen, that was his best moment. Um, and also, of course, like, like character-wise and, and seeding Trost and Maria Shiganshina, that was also brilliant, of course, you know? But I do think my favorite Eren moment is him talking to Historia, setting her on the path to her freedom, which apparently is not there anymore suddenly now. And yeah, that was a take on Titan. Wow. That was a take on time. Awesome. Like, we, I have the movies, but... I do think overall... No, nah, I'm, I'm not going to rank it yet. I'm not going to rate it. I do think it is my highest rated anime. Um, it is not perfect. Um, had I... I'm not going to talk more about this because you will probably also do a mega review about Attack on Titan stuff if you want. But um, I do think had season four part two not happened, I would have given it a perfect anime. Uh, but part two, there was just small inklings, nothing really, really big. But some things just didn't hit the way I, I think they could have. But that really doesn't really like I just see it has on Crunchyroll 4.9. I do think currently I would agree. I would completely agree with that. Perhaps higher. Like, it's damn near a five, but... Anyway, let's see where it goes. 
Thanks for being here as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if there were things I was confused about again, we will also, uh, uh, I hope, uh, talk about that one day. And uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you have a great one. Bye. Also, if you want to support my horror content, check out volume one of my horror series called Remnants of the Old Truth, which is available for free as an audiobook on Vidith 22s horror channel. Link is pinned in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and take care.